morning so it is half past eight i'm gonna take the dog out for a walk now because it's already 21 degrees i'm already sweating um it's gonna get up to like 31 degrees later on and that is just too hot for nessie girl despite being from spain originally she is useless in the heat um and so am i to be honest i don't want to be out walking when it's 31 degrees so yeah i'm gonna just oh sorry <laughs> i'm just gonna take her for a walk now and then come home and do all the housework because bloody hell this house is a dump oh everything needs doing matt's gone to work of course so that is my thursday let's go now at home look how much i'm sweating it is so sticky it's only about 22 degrees but it's so oh so muggy and sticky and horrible we've only been out about half an hour because to be honest i think that was enough for both of us nesca has gone straight outside she's having a breakfast and a drink of water outside i've taken it out to her because she just wanted to go straight out onto the cold concrete while it's still cold hey you're a good girl Whew. right anyway i am now going to go and put on my pajamas because i'm wearing jeans for some reason i'm gonna go and put on my pajama bottoms or actually maybe my pajama shorts and then i'm gonna crack up well have some breakfast and then crack on with the housework so it's too hot for nesca to be in the window seat today so she has found herself a new spot honestly <laughs> why, why she can't just lay on the floor or heaven forbid a dog bed like a normal dog i have no idea there she is. <laughs> okay, so all the housework is finally done. It's about half past two. It's taken me a long, long time. I have, in fact, had another shower. I did have a shower this morning. But then I had another one because I was so sweaty and horrible. So, um, yeah, Nesca is just not enjoying this weather. Bless her, she doesn't know what to do. It's actually cooler downstairs. I've got the fan. Matt's got a fan in his room, so I've brought that down to the living room and put that on to cool the place down a bit. Oh, this poor doggy. Oh. Oh. Um, so I was asked if I want to go out for a coffee, so I'm going to go and pick him up now and go for a coffee. Probably go for some lunch, actually, because I'm starving. Starving. Oh too hot for doggies hello good morning so um this morning i'm here in hesham um which is about 45 minutes away from home in the middle of an industrial estate because matt had to come to this like training center place um now they said it was like an interview thing um so I thought it would be like a quick in-out thing. Oh, by the way, Matthew's car has gone. Uh, there's something wrong with his exhaust. Um, it's been really, it sounds like a tractor, so it's had to go in to be fixed. So that's why he is without a car and I've brought him today. Um, so I was just walking past the car. Um, so yeah, I thought it would just be like a quick in-out thing. Um, but I've been here for an hour and 20 minutes now and I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know if it's like a health and safety thing. I don't know if it's um, an induction thing. I don't know. I just thought it was an in-out thing. I've seen one other lad get dropped off by, I presume, his dad over there. Matthew's meant to be here for nine and then this other lad, similar age to Matt, that's why I'm presuming, is for the same thing, turned up at 20 past nine. So I thought like, oh, okay, either that lad's late or his interview was after Matt. Um, so at 20 past nine I thought oh maybe he's not going to be long because maybe that lad's going for his interview after no hour and 20 minutes later so the other dad is sat in a van over there so I'm guessing like me he also thought he wasn't going to be long um I kind of feel like going over to him and saying like do you know what's going on do you know he, he probably doesn't because like I say he's sat sat just waiting as well so and because it's the middle of an industrial estate it's not like there's anything I can go and look at or see it's just like building stuff I think there's like a power station over there um also I'm down to 40% of my battery because I've just been sat watching YouTube videos and um, so and I need to use this um use my google maps on my phone to get us back to Matt's where I have to go and drop Matt for work 
and then home. Um, I've left the dog on her own again. I didn't think we'd be very long, but we left the house at eight o'clock this morning. It is now 20 past 10. So yeah, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do. I just got to wait, haven't I? But I have literally no idea how, what if it's an all day thing? <laughs> what if it's like a four days training or something? I don't know. I thought it was just an in out thing. I don't know what to do. Anyway, I better get off the phone because I'm using my battery. Oh, and also Matthew forgot to put his phone on charge last night. So he's also got no battery. So it's not even like who can use his phone when he comes out. So I best reserve this. Ooh. We are finally home. Oh, that was a, a long day. It is now five to one. Literally just got in and made myself a, a coffee. Um, yeah, he ended up being in there for like two hours. It turned out that he had to do a maths exam, an English exam and a mechanics exam. So it was like, not, they call it an interview, but it wasn't really an interview. It was like a test. So anyway, um, they said, looking at it, it all looks fine it all looks good and um, so fingers crossed that's all good um yeah just got in now five to one um Nesca bless her she's been on her own for almost five hours which is the longest she's ever been on her own excuse me um but she had no accidents and I let her out and she went straight out and did a big wee and a poo so she'd she'd held it all that time bless her so that's really good um she's pleased to see her she's upstairs now I think she might be sulking but anyway, I've just um, a friend Amanda messaged me to ask if I wanted to go around with the dog so our dogs can play together. Um, so I've just texted her to say that I'm home, so for her to let me know when to go around. So that's cool. But yeah, first of all, coffee. I need a coffee. Come on, do this again. Have you stopped? Oh, come on, look. Pull, pull. Come on. I've just been for a lovely relaxing bath. I've used a face mask which I haven't managed to get out of my hair completely. Um, and me and Ness are just, just having a little snuggle. Oh, she's burying her head. I don't know where she's going. She's burying her little head. Oh. Yeah, and I'm just going to chill and watch a bit of TV. It started raining. Just managed to grab my washing in. That's it. There's my first mask. It's come off now. There's the rest of it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, that's a cute dog. Oh, that is a cute dog. Oh, where are you going? Can you just not get comfortable? just not get comfy hello so it is 25 to 5 I'm home from work I'm just about to let the birds out I'm looking a bit of a disheveled mess because I don't know what's wrong with me today but I have just been boiling hot all day today and it's not even been I think it's been about 17 degrees so bear in mind it's about 32 degrees here on um, Thursday it's like a big drop in temperature yet for some reason all day I just have been boiling hot so yeah and it's been very humid outside I'm just yeah. distracted by Sparky who's stretching her wings Um, yeah so I'm not doing anything tonight I called into boots on my way home to just pick up some shampoo and I had a little look at the nail section and I saw that Sensational had this new um chrome powder out in iridescent unicorn um which I've never seen this before. I used to really um keep on top of um Sensational is the brand of gel polish that I like to use. Um, and I used to really keep on top of what was new and everything but to be honest I've got that many nail polishes now and I just I think no I don't need any more so I don't and they're quite expensive they're like in boots are about 15 pounds each this was on sale for 13 60 I think but they're usually about 15 I think actually this one was 17 pounds so it's really expensive I think on the website they're 12 pound 50 or something a bit cheaper but 
even so it's quite a lot of money so I don't need any more but I saw this one and I thought mm, I don't have anything like that so um that's exciting and I just saw it like as I was leaving the shop I nearly got out without spending much money but so yes that comes with a no white top coat which is I don't have that either and I don't have this colour powder I've got all the other colour powders I think well I don't know unless there's more new ones I don't know right anywho I'm going to put my foot massager on I'm going to clean the bird's cage out and that's it really Matt's out somewhere in his car and he just so I might have said this before but Robin DJs um, and he was at Kendall Collin Festival this weekend he's come home now because it's pouring down and he's done his thing and he's sick of festivals because he's done like four weekends in a row or five weekends in a row whatever it's been so he's come home now and he just texts me saying does Matt and two of his mates want tickets it's an expensive festival it's like I don't know how much tickets are over 100 quid um do Matt and two mates want tickets um got two normal tickets and an artist pass if he wants it so I was like, oh, that's amazing, because just yesterday Matt said that he wanted to go. So I phoned Matt up, thought he'd be, like, chuffed, and he was chuffed, but unfortunately he doesn't have anybody that wants to go with him. So I fancy that, getting free tickets to a festival, and nobody wants to go, so I bet he's gutted, bless him. I'd go with him, but I don't think he'd want to go with me. It's been a few years since I've been to a festival. I used to always go, but it's been a few years since I've been to a festival. Right, anyway... Let's massage my feet. Okay, so I'm in my PJs, as you can see now. Um, but I just painted, um, well, put that powder on my nails. I already had a French manicure, so I just put it over the white tips. So I just thought I would show you. I should have done one hand with it and one without. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's got this kind of like pearlescent look to it now. Um, so yeah, I like it. Like I said, don't know if it's going to show up, if it's going to come across as, as well. But yeah, I like it. I think next time I paint my nails, I'll just I'll do it all over rather than just the tips. But I just thought rather than repaint my whole nails, I'll just do that. So there we go. Mm, I like it. Anyway, I've just put my tea in. It's ten to seven. Nesca's home. She's in the kitchen looking rather sad. I don't know why. She always looks rather sad, doesn't she? Um, yeah, birds have gone away. Matt's still out, I presume. He's... The trouble is, when he's driving, I can't, like, ring or text him, so I never really know when he's coming home. I don't want to, like, distract him. I don't want him to look at his phone or something, which, obviously, I hope to goodness he wouldn't, but I don't want to, like, um, be responsible for that, for distracting him while he's driving. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to have a tea. I've just put some fish and chips in the oven, so... Hmm, she'll have that. Good morning. It is quarter past 11. I'm just about to go to Matalan and to Morrison's. Um, can't bother to dry my hair. hate drying my hair. I don't know if it's because I do it all day at work. Hello, darlings. Um, but for some reason, I have a real hatred of drying my own hair. So, I'm going to go to Matalan and then to Morrison's. I just want some... I want to see if they've got any like just summer tops in Matalan because I'm just basically bigger than I was last summer and no like vest tops and stuff are fitting me. Well they are just about fitting me but they're really tight across the chest and tummy area so just a don't that's a whole top isn't it chest and tummy area. <laughs> uh, so yeah I want to go and see if they've got any summer tops for work and yeah, then shopping. Um, I'm really gutted because Robin still has these tickets, so I thought like, oh, I'll I'll go up. So, um, I've asked. Well, first of all, I asked Matt. I said, Matt, do you want to go up with your mates just today, just during the day? And he was like, no, nobody wants to go. Like some of his mates are camping in Coniston, and um, I guess some are at work, and some just aren't into that kind of thing. So he's like, no. And I said, well, do you want to come with me? And he's like, no, because obviously it's me um so then I was like okay well I'll ask my mum and dad if they fancy coming because um my dad said that he would like to go 
So I asked them, but they said no, they're busy. So I asked Sai, he's busy. I asked Mel, I asked Lindsay. Uh, Mel's husband's away, so she's like got their daughter. Um, Lindsay's working. Um, nobody wants to go with me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I've asked Lily, my niece, if me, her, and Matt, you know, if me and her could go, and then Matt might come with us. You see, um, but she's wanting to. She's going on holiday, so she wants to go clothes shopping so basically I've got no one to go with so that's a shame um but anyway I just have to get it out of my head and crack on with the day you know it's not like I paid for the tickets it's just you know it's just a bit gutting like I've got the opportunity to go but nobody to go with so never mind I shall just go and do my shopping come home and do my housework walk the dog usual Sunday stuff so Oh well, what 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 can you do? Um, one of my nails chipped off, so I decided to do it all in that unicorn, um, whatever it's called, powder. Um, it just doesn't show up. It's like really iridescent pearl type. Oh, I don't know, but there it is anyway. Just thought I'd show you that. Change of plan. I've ended up coming out with the dog because as I was about to go out shopping, she stood by the front door and I felt really guilty, so I've ended up bringing her out. And actually, I think it's going to be quite hot and wet today. So at the moment, it's quite hot, but it's dry. So it's probably the best time to walk her, actually. So I should do that first. There she is. And then I'll go and do the shopping. Okay, so there's been a change of plan again. Um, we are going to Kendall Carlin. Me and my dad are going. Is this your first ever festival? No. Is it not? Where have you been? Donington, Milton Keynes. Oh yeah, but they're just like, they were like geeks, weren't they? No. Donington was monsters Okay, rock. well, I'm going to a festival and my dad's going to show me how it's done. So... <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to it. And I've got an artist wristband, so... There we go. Um, yeah, so exciting. Apparently it's very, very, very muddy up there, so we've got our wellies and waterproofs. Ew.
from Kendall Carlin. It is 10 past 10. It's that chucking it down. It's got not when we were there, look, we're, we got we got away, but when we've got back home, it's dead absolutely chucking it down. So I think we left at just the right time. It's gone really cold with the rain as well. I got this t-shirt today, by the way, from Matalan. It says, smile. Um, yeah, we had a really good time. So that was lovely. I'm so glad my dad decided to come. Um, only my feet are killing and his hip is killing. So I'm like, what, what a pair. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, really good. So I'm glad we went. Shame it was so, so muddy. I mean, it, luckily it wasn't wet or anything when we were there. That was all good. But obviously it has been raining heavy the last few days. So um, it just made it an absolute mud fest. So yeah, but it's a good day. Right, I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to go to bed, to be honest. Um... So, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and I shall see you all next week. <laughs>